At BT, I think most of you guys know the kind of challenge that we've had. Um, we started to become a broadcaster about three years ago, a little bit over three years ago. Uh, we now have over five million subscribers consuming our sports channel. And um, I joined uh, at probably the most fantastic period of BT's evolution um, because we had just spent a lot of money on the rights and um, my challenge was to bring that onto the screens. And I thought that was a big challenge trying to launch BT Sport in nine months. Um, and then Gavin and John and, and others in BT decided that they wanted to do something even bigger for Champions League. Um, so the challenge that was set to us was um, a, a fairly simple goal, it sounded. Um, it was to produce high definition sport um, with the most interactive viewing experience on the app and set top box. Um, but when you started to look at that goal, I think um, you know, the challenge became a bit more difficult um, because we were used to doing a game in, a, a week. Um, and all of a sudden, we had to do 351 games across the season. Um, and at peak, there were 12 concurrent games. We need to bring that to our apps, our web, our TV screens. Um, and you know, that was a fairly big challenge. Um, coupled with that, we also had a two-tiered login process. Um, and we needed to deliver that on time and on budget. Um, and obviously, the dates of Champions League weren't going to move. Um, so the pressure was, was very much on. Um, and I think you know, we did a, a great job of bringing that um, to life. Um, and it was really working with technology partners to, to really drive innovation and functionality um, that I think the, the British public hadn't seen before. When we were sitting in BT Towers discussing you know, how we were going to try and bring the best picture quality to the screens, um, UHD was murmured. Um, the um, standards hadn't really been properly defined. Um, and we had to, what we call glass to glass, get that whole workflow working. Um, and that meant doing things um, from building a scanner truck from scratch um, with various different components, building a comms truck from scratch, um, doing all of the um, contribution circuits, building a brand new set-top box, building a brand new studio, um, and all of those things had to come together um, in a way that they all worked. And I have to say, I think the support we had from Elemental was, was very instrumental. And I think the reason why we chose Elemental as a partner is because they are software-based, and we knew the standards were going to change. And um, if I told you how many changes we made right up to live day, um, it, it certainly scared us, and I'm sure it will scare you as well. But you know, I think the beauty of the, the different parties working together, um, of being able to change things as things were evolving, was, was really instrumental in bringing that service to life. And I have to say, um, you know, we've had numerous partners, but one of the partners that has been really instrumental in bringing this all together and making it a success was, was Elemental.